Bye, everyone. The initial autopsy for Braylon Noble's death has been released. Let me wait a bit until I see. Okay. I just want to read off the autopsy report to you. This was done by Lucas County Deputy Coroner Cynthia Beiser, Dr. Cynthia Beiser. The autopsy on Braylon Noble showed no anatomic cause of death and no gross evidence of trauma. Drowning has not yet been ruled out as a cause of death, but further studies and investigation are needed before the final ruling is issued. So no cause of death, no manner of death released, no gross evidence of trauma, and drowning has not yet been ruled out as a cause of death. Hi, everyone. So they're still waiting to do a toxicology as well as a microscopic test, which I believe allows them to like test sections of um, the organs. And there's no time frame for those further results. Um, it just depends on if there's anything in his system. So yep, no signs of trauma and drowning has not been ruled out as a cause of death. No cause and manner of death has been released or found at the moment. And I did uh, speak with one gentleman who has been out here, uh, I would say since Saturday. So the day after Braylon went missing and he's been a volunteer, he's been searching. He still believes that foul play was involved in this case. I'm going to take this off because I'm far away from people. But yeah, I mean, how many of you guys um, agree with that volunteer and believe that foul play um, was was involved? Yeah, I see a lot of people commenting about that, that um, how could he have fallen out the window if there are no signs of trauma? No, uh, yeah, no signs of trauma. That is uh, the question. For people just joining, the initial autopsy report for Braylon Noble's death was released by the um, Lucas County Coroner. I want to get her name. I know I said it earlier, but I'm bad with names. Uh, it was done by Dr. Cynthia Beiser, Lucas County Deputy Coroner. No anatomic cause of death and no gross evidence of trauma. Drowning has not been ruled out. So they still have to do uh, some more studies and further investigation and then uh, hopefully a cause as well as a manner of death can be ruled. So let me flip this around so you guys can see. I mean, this is the pool that uh, Braylon was discovered in yesterday where police found him. We don't know where exactly in the pool he was located. But police say that FBI, canines, the Lucas County, or not Lucas County, the Toledo Fire Department, Toledo Fire and Rescue, uh, a diver had been out here on Friday. This pool had been checked multiple times volunteers, search groups had checked it and they had not found anything uh, before yesterday. So uh, very shocking for a lot of people um, in this community to find that he was found in this pool that was just steps away from this gazebo, which is where volunteers were, were gathering to head out. I mean, many of them searching these woods over here. Um, I saw them climbing out of these woods, sweaty, dirty, but um, they were so, so hopeful that, that Braylon would be found alive or that there would be any sign of him.
Yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this initial autopsy report? I know that there's not a lot of information from it, but at least there's something out, right? No signs of trauma, no cause of death, no manner of death revealed or found yet. And drowning has not yet been ruled out. I did talk with one volunteer who's been searching for Braylon since Saturday. He says he believes that foul play is still involved. And um, he also was curious about if, uh, or the story, if Braylon allegedly had fallen out of the window, the third story window, then you know, wouldn't he have signs of trauma? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, if that's possible. So here's just, let, let me take you guys around the pool because we actually weren't able to get over here yesterday when the crime scene tape was up. I did ask police if they're gonna have more information today uh, to release. They did say that they are pending the results of the initial autopsy report. So we'll see if they have anything else to say about that report or just an update on what, you know, the, the body found yesterday. Some more details. So as you can see, there is a quite a tall fence. It's higher than five feet. Maybe it's like around six feet. Six and a half, maybe. It's all around the pool. No signs of trauma. No cause of death, no manner of death known yet. Uh, although they are not, the coroner is not ruling out drowning as a possibility. They are going to proceed with toxicology reports. And they're going to take a look at uh, Braylon's organs and see if there was anything in his system. And there was no time frame as far as when that would be released or those further results would be released. But um, the coroner told me that it just depends on if there is anything in his system. So could take a while. The time of death has not been, there was no time of death um, revealed, I guess, in, in the initial report. I did see a picture of this gate or this side of the gate on somewhere on social media. It's kind of pulled apart.
No signs of trauma. Drowning has not been ruled out. The time of day that he passed away and what day, uh, that's not going to be revealed until later. I'm sure after they do the toxicology and so, some further studies, they have to do that first. And as far as the time frame on that, um, it just depends on what is in his system, what they find in his system. And So as you can see, I mean, lots of people still out here just I've heard them just talking about, you know, their their theories. I would say the pool looks about the same or the water in there looks about at the same height that it was yesterday. It's like up about a quarter. And um, I've been, I mean, it's, it's, it looks dirty, a little murky, not totally clear, but that could just be like the bottom of the pool that's kind of dirty. So it's looking like that. Yeah, this is still a very active investigation, guys. As far as we know, the mom and grandma are not in custody. Ma'am, did you happen to see the initial autopsy report? No. He said um, no signs of trauma and drowning has not been ruled out as the cause of, or yeah, as the cause of death. Ma'am, what are your thoughts on the initial oh my God. autopsy? <laughs> Just on Facebook Live. Oh, no, no, I can no. point the camera this oh, way. Oh my God. Um, no, no signs of trauma. I'm just still in shock. This is my third time down here, and me and my daughter, we just had to come again. I'm just in shock about it. I, mm -hmm. Lord, just, just praying for it. Just praying for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, no signs of trauma, and, and drowning has not been ruled out as the cause of death. Is, is, does anything stand out to you in that, or? I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just still, so, I'm like you. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm just in shock. I just cannot believe it. it Especially when I came out, you hear some of everything. You just don't know what to believe in. Mm -hmm. And you hear that. Yeah, they still have to do more tests, so we'll learn more. Yeah, that's what I think a lot of people are waiting. A lot of people are just, mm -hmm. just praying. Do you think that foul play was involved? <laughs> Too soon? Too soon to say? Well, only thing I can say, you didn't get down there by yourself. So, 
Braylon really liked Mickey Mouse. He had a Mickey Mouse t-shirt on. If you guys want to see uh, the full statement from the Lucas County coroner, the uh, the deputy coroner, please go to our website, WTOL.com. Go to our app. You guys can read that for yourself. Um, I know that not a lot of information was released in that, and you guys still have so many questions as far as what happened and when did he die, um, what time. I don't think that information is going to be released until after uh, more s studies are done and more results are done or the results are in excuse me um you know the toxicology and then hopefully the coroner can establish a cause and a manner of death again the report the initial report today showed that let me actually show you guys so that's the third story window there that um, Braylon allegedly or could have fallen out. Um, the uh, initial autopsy report said no signs of trauma and drowning has not been ruled out. All right, you guys, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to try and talk to some more people. Thank you so much for tuning in.